Hi, boaters. I'm Bridget. And in this episode, we're covering capacity, which ironically is a lot to pack into this video. The bottom line is make sure to give your crew the room to have a great time and to move about safely. Overloading passengers or equipment can unbalance your boat, messing with your trim, plane, and wake. And you could even swamp or capsize a boat. Before you launch, check federal and local carriage requirements to ensure you have all items on board. Here are some typical requirements. For boats smaller than 16 feet, you'll need to provide passengers with an approved type one, two, three, or five personal flotation device. For boats between 16 and 65 feet, you'll also need a throwable type four device. You'll need to have a sound device. The bigger the boat, the bigger the sound. If you're heading out on coastal waters, you'll need a visual distress signal. Most boats are required to have a B1 fire extinguisher on board. Depending on your boat size, you may need additional B1 or B2 extinguishers. There also may be local requirements of a first aid kit, emergency fuel and water, a VHF radio, as well as a bilge pump. The key is, it's always better to be prepared than underprepared. It gives you an excuse to show off your gear like the boss captain that you are. Remember to check the Coast Guard requirements for ventilation. They're different depending on when your boat was made. Before starting the boat, make sure to run the blower for four minutes. When feeling, if you smell a strong odor, stop and check it out. All boats over 40 feet must carry an updated copy of the ISDOTIS Coast Guard International Inland Navigation Rules and Regulation Handbook. The people and things you bring on board are your greatest tools. So the less things you have to stress about, the more you could seize the day. So when capacity is in question, choose wisely and be prepared. See you out here.